Uh, let me talk about uh, our context, because that is what I know very well in Rwanda. So there are a lot of things I can name here. First of all, poverty. That is one barrier, big barrier. Because even if education is meant to be free, but there are many things which are related, like buying uniform, like notebooks, pens, all those kind of things. They need money. So if the family can't afford, that is a barrier. And in our culture, especially cultural norms, when the resources are few, this is uh, given to boys in the culture, in the environment, that is what it is. If money is not enough to take all of them to school, boys will come first than girls. So another, maybe their security also, the security of girls in school, on the way to school, way to and from school, that is also another um, barrier to girls. If the security is not enough, they won't go. If the infrastructure does not favor these girls at school, they can't go. If their health and the sanitation is not taken care of, and this is the issue, by the way, sometimes you see that about sanitation for girls, it is not there in some schools. So the guy will want to go to school because they feel insecure. And uh, sometimes, and it is really happening, forced early marriage and early pregnancy. This is affecting many girls and hinder them to pursue their education.